in this video, we're going to model the plants, um, rocks, and textures, and render the scene in Lumion for the plant earth that we modeled in Rhino in the last video. So this is what it's going to look like. And we're going to start by making a new scene in Lumion. I'm going to make a white blank scene. I'm going to go to Rhino. I have installed the Lumion Live Sync for Rhino plugin. And I'm going to start. I've opened my, um, by my planter that I modeled in Rhino. I'm going to start Live Sync in Rhino. Now my planter will appear in Lumion. I'm going to move it well above the ground plane, partly because some of it's beneath the ground plane, but also because I want to have an easy view of the sky in the background so I can get an alpha channel for the plants. I'm going to select move and pick the object on ball and move it way up in the sky. Now I'm going to navigate around the scene to get a nice view from the side of my planter for materials. We're going to start by adding Lumion materials to the scene. We added Rhino materials so that we could easily select different materials on this object. I'm going to go to the Materials tab, and I'm going to start by picking, let's say, the concrete. Um, my concrete material from Rhino is here. I'm going to go to the Outdoor tab, select Concrete, and pick one of these concretes. One's good, no expansion joints. Make a little cleaner. I'm going to now select my uh, metal material because it really needs replacing. I'm going to go to Outdoor, Metal, and perhaps the third tab, I'll pick the stainless steel, cast, cast stainless steel here. And I can see lots of dots. There's too much texture on it, so I'm going to double click to get to the properties. I'm going to reduce the scale down to about point, point, uh, 0.3 perhaps. I'm going to go back to the material library. I'm going to select my dirt layer now. I'm going to go to nature, soil. I'll pick the second, second one. It's got a nice sort of sandy soil to drain well. I'm going to double click on it and reduce the scale again, probably about to uh, two. I'm going to pick my filter fabric layer. I'm going to go to indoor. I'm going to go to fabrics. Um, fabrics. I'm going to go to the third page, second page, pick uh, this dark wool fabric. Finally, I'll pick my gravel layer. I'm going to go to nature, soil, the second or third tab, and I pick one of these ground gravels. And that might be the might be about the right size. So now I've done my materials. I'm happy with it. I'm going to check save changes in the bottom right. Now before I add. I'm going to go into object placement mode and pick nature and place. Before I place things, I want to get a good view of my scene. Um, so I want to look at this basically in plan view. Something like that. I am going to start by placing some pebbles along my scene. So I'm going to go to the Nature Library, Rocks, second page, and I'll pick from the set of the last five. This time I'm going to, I'm going to pick, let's say, this stone to start with. As I place this, I'm going to scale and rotate it. 
I'm going to place a number, get them scaled and rotated as I place them nicely, and then I, I'll uh, start moving those around. I'm going to start by placing one fairly large stone right underneath the drain as a splash stone. And as I place it, I can hold down L to scale it. I'll place that right there, not overlapping the edge too much, just a little bit. Now, let's say I'll place another one with some of these... Um, start getting some of my blocks in the scene. If I want to get back over here, I might zoom over there. Uh, sorry, I'm move over there with uh, the D key, WASD. I'm going to be placing a whole bunch of stones, different sizes. So I'll go ahead and get a good grouping of these placed. Started. Different size and orientation. I'll pick another stone. Rotate this with R, get it right where I like it. Take another stone, scale it by holding L as I place it where I want it roughly. Place some of these a little under the others. Start to fill up a massing where I need it. Add some other stones. We want as much diversity here as we can easily achieve. Placing these may seem a little tedious, but then uh, placing rocks in a garden takes time. For aesthetic purposes, let's um, try to get a bit of masses in a few places. The edges, obviously. Um, but also perhaps a bit of a mass somewhere in the middle. I'm going to move some of these, so I'm going to do select. Now I'm going to just start, uh, hold down Alt, and as I move this, I'm going to start quickly, more quickly building up my mass. So I've been taking my own time. I don't need to fill the whole thing 
this whole center line up with rock, but I want to get most of it there so that it looks like it'd be a nice drainway. I might leave a little space here in the middle for planting. So that's enough rocks. I'm going to start placing um, some large grasses to fill this in, and then I'll add flowers. So place, I'm going to go to grasses, I'm going to select Sparta as part of my massing, and hold L to start scaling it down. I won't be able to place too many of these because I, I don't want them to intersect the walls. I need to scale them, place them carefully to make sure they're not going to intersect the walls. Now this may be a very good place to put a larger one. Since I don't have too much space to place these, I need to be quite careful about where I do it so that I can also fit in some other of the large grasses. I'm going to quickly switch over to planting some of these feather grasses. And I might scale them down quite radically. And start building a sort of cluster or a drift of these. And I might keep these quite large so that they can go over the edge. to rotate it and get it nice when I want it. Let's place some more, some different plants in towards the middle here. Place some larger of these um, weed grasses in the middle. Sort of in the back, as a backbone to the middle. I'm going to place some sedges in the back. I'll hold V to vary the scale. Kind of fill up a bit the clearing in the back here with them. I'm going to start putting some uh, fescue towards the in front of those sedges. Oops. I scale that down nicely. I'm going to start moving the fescue, copying it with Alt, so I have the right size and I can quickly build a mass right here. I'll use this to create sort of glass layer between the larger plants and the uh, other ones. I may place a few in the drier areas at the edge. Now I'm going to finally place some flowers for color, probably iris. So place. Um, Flowers. I'm going to go to maybe the fifth tab and um, 
There's yellow iris. I'm going to scale it down. So that I go nicely in water and match my color scheme well. Just scale with L as I place these. Left mouse button, L to scale, R to rotate if I want. And I'm going to place some of these to have some more interest in the middle of the scene. I might scale the ones up in the back so they show just a little bit of visual interest, a splash of color. And I might place a few white flowers like a spider lily. And they look a little bright, much smaller. And um, um, perhaps a purple iris or two. we have pretty much finished with the planting. So I'm going to move down and get a nice sectional view for my rendering. close to the view I want. Let's go to photo mode to make our rendering. I'm going to make sure I have a horizontal eye level. My scene is centered how I want it and let's add a style. This time I'm going to start um, with a preset, realistic style. Um, I'm going to adjust a few things here. I'm going to increase the exposure to about 0.6. Flip and then go back to my effects. I'm going to add an effect for sunlight. And I'm going to change the sun heading so that it's lighting up the front of the scene. I don't want too much shadow from these rocks, but a little bit of shadow on the front of the map, perhaps. Um, I have a shadow drop down here, and of course the watermark, and these can all be cropped off in Photoshop. Um, so I won't worry about them. I'm going to go out of the sun. Let's see, I'm going to increase the brightness just a little bit and go back. I'm going to look at my depth of field and I'm going to turn on autofocus. I'm going to move the background amount up to one and increase the amount quite a bit. Now this is going to blur out the background out the sky skyline and um, make the background fade away blur into a gradient okay now my scene's looking pretty good I'm going to take a rendering of it I'll save it right here and I'm gonna take a, a render I'm gonna set this to print size, save it, and I may save also the alpha channel 
so that I can um, really better shot the plants if I want to uh, use it in a montage. I would also want to crop the scene in Photoshop nicely and get a good result.